the wisdom in Yi Jin Feng Shui is the foundation of world peace. Good day to audience around the world. Welcome to professional Yi Jin Feng Shui TV station, Weixin TV station. Today is Monday, June 24th, 2019, and it's now 11.30 p.m. in Taiwan. I'm Fiona Zhang Xinfang. Let's begin with Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi's footprint. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi recently began his tour of lecturing the meaning of Dharma affairs and the wisdom of hard Dharma to all branch leaders of Wei Xin Shenjiang Mary Foundation to show his caring blessing and support to all branch leaders in promoting various Dharma affairs of this year, the Jihai year of Chinese calendar. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi encourages everyone to do good deeds in a timely manner to learn the mercy and love of all heavenly sages, deities, Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas to accumulate the power of goodness for collectively turning the Dharma Huyo of world peace. On June 15th, at Amitabha Lecture Hall, headquarters Xianfo Temple, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi of Changtishan Weixin Shenjia gave the very first lecture to branch leaders of Weixin Shenjia Merit Foundations, Fangxianfo Temple, Puli Branch Temple, and Chaotun Branch Temple. In this way, these branch leaders could have further understanding of Dharma from Wangchang Lao Zhu and thus work on cultivating themselves and benefiting people. Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi instructed the branch leaders of Weixin Shenjia's religious destiny. 我们尊天华子要帮智慧掌纹更加的熟悉我们董事会的秘书长袁道法师相对的也是请各位智慧长已经在民国七十一年易经
Grandmaster Huang Yuanchang Shi encouraged French leaders to turn the Dharma realm of the world as a family with us. He instructed them they should take action to practice Dharma, initiating their friends and relatives into the wisdom of eating feng shui. Grandmaster Huang Yuanchang Shi also pointed out Wei Xin Shenzhou Merit Foundation's religious destiny is to raise and cultivate talented people, revitalize and cultivate people's morals, to refine ambitions, and to attend world peace. To elevate branch leaders' comprehension of Dharma, Grandmaster has prepared 10 courses for all branch leaders and is going on a speaking tour of local branch temples. By so doing, Grandmaster is to turn the Dharma realm of one world, one family, and fulfill Wei Xin Shenzhou's religious destiny with all branch leaders hand in hand. Wei Xin News, Headquarters Shenfo Temple. The founder of Chan Ji Shan Wei Xin Shenzhou, Grandmaster Hu Yuan Chan Shi, established the world's first Yijin University in Nantou City, Taiwan, and constructed the Yijin Feng Shui lectures across all ages to guide people to use Yijin through the education over the past decades. Meanwhile, the development of various hardware constructions with the religious and cultural representations is ongoing. At this time, the lifting and installation of the stone carving of 72 heavenly masters at the Tai Chi Tian Plaza of the starting point of World Peace Taichung Branch Temple has begun. Now, let's watch the purification rite on June 18th to know more about it. Afternoon on June 18th, Chan Ji Shan Wei Xin Shen Zhao Taichung Branch Temple hosted the purification rite for the stone carving of 72 heavenly masters at Tai Ji Tian Plaza. Virtuous fellow Chiu Kui Ping of Dongnan Landscape Design Company lead contractor and construction workers, burned incense in worship of Wang Chan Lao Zu, heavenly sages deities, pray to Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, descend to the mandala. Meanwhile, we hope the city god and the lord of land could be compassionate to the public to bless the construction of the project to be safe and smooth. Ah, Taichung Branch Temple host Master Yuan Yi burned incense to pray and reported to Wang Chan Lao Zu. Master Yuan Yi then purified the walls and the construction site with the second time water used to ring. We began to install the stone carving immediately after the purification rite. We pray for the construction work smoothly. The 72 heavenly masters radiantly arrived to bless and turn the Dhamma wheel for world peace together. Weixin News, Taichung Branch Temple. Take a break. We will come back soon. Weixin Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi instructs us that different religions are endowed with different providence when they reveal in the world. Society is benefited by different religious expertise. In this wish, Weixin Shenjiao feature story, we are showing you the relationship between Yijin Feng Shui and the worldly affairs. You will be able to understand the wisdom behind the application of Yijin Feng Shui by these real stories that happen around us. Let's watch today's topic together. Hello, everyone. I'm Yi Tuo Fu. Welcome to Turn In Again for Wei Xin Shen Zhao feature story. The sixth patriarch of Chan Buddhism, Hui Nan, was born in Xinxin County, Guangdong Province, where it used to be known the Southwest Barbarian. When Hui Nan requested teaching from Hong Ren, the fifth patriarch of Chan Buddhism, Hong Ren, he asked Hui Nan, You are Cantonese, a barbarian. 
How could you learn the Buddhist teaching, then become a Buddha? Huinan answered with wit. People can be divided by their regions, but Buddhism is the same everywhere. A barbarian is different from your holiness physically, but there is no difference in our Buddha natural. Huinan's reply catch Hongren's attention. The fifth patriarch knew that. Huinan was born to be wise. So the patriarch agreed to let Huinan become his disciple and take over his mantle. Grandmaster Huinan Chan Shi shared this story with disciples and instructed, All living beings have the same Buddha natural, a skittering light. Over countless kapas, we were virtuous fellows and Buddhas lived in the heaven. When the time has come, we reincarnated to different regions and countries based on individual affinities. All Buddha natural are the same and equal. Humanity should respect and concern for one another and do not take advantage of any power over someone or bully others. We should understand the principle of karma, which is the notion that all of life is governed by a system of cause and effect, action and reaction. If today you attempt to have power over others, one day you will have to face the result of your actions. Leo was a virtuous fellow. He accumulated a great amount of wealth through running factory. Therefore, he not only behaved arrogantly, but also addicted to bad habits. Grandmaster Huyuan Chan Shi suggested him to break his harmful habits, not to be arrogant and squander money, or three years later, his life will be totally different. He didn't think so and felt Grandmaster Huyuan Chan Shi curse him. Grandmaster Huyuan Chan Shi gave him one book, Learning Yi Jing from Fundamental and suggested him to read it when he had time. Four years passed. This virtuous fellow went to Xianfo Si Temple to visit Grandmaster Huyuan Chan Shi. Grandmaster Huyuan Chan Shi knew his business was failed when Grandmaster saw he wore a sad face. He told Grandmaster Huyuan Chan Shi that he was regretted for not following Grandmaster's suggestions. In the last year, he had lost everything. Today, he came to Xianfo Si Temple to confess himself and express gratitude to Grandmaster Huyuan Chan Shi, who gave him the book, Learning Yi Jing from Fundamental. He started to study it carefully when his factory was closed. This book really inspired him a lot. Grandmaster Huyuan Chan Shi told him, you might never meet this chance if you did not fail. Failure gave you a chance to be a humble man and start to do self-cultivation. Grandmaster Huyuan Chan Shi pointed that the change from making money to lose money is E. The change from being wealthy to poor is E. The change from arrogance to humble is E. The change from arrogance of the past to attain enlightenment today is also E. All changes in our life have never been outside the domain of Yi Jing. This disciple attained enlightenment after eliminating ignorance by the inspiration of Yi Jing. Now his family has attained good fortune and prosperity. Thank you for watching today's feature story. Wish you all peace and love. See you next time. For this week's Branch Temple Social Services, let's firstly have a look at Kaohsiung Branch Temple's host, Master Yuan Pu, investigated the young house for the follower on the 5th of June. Chan Ji San Wei Xin Shen Jiao, Kaohsiung Branch Temple, Master Yuan Pu, pray for the country and the citizen based on altruism. She answers all the queries at 9 a.m. on each Monday and leads virtuous fellows to provide home service. Responding to the request of a fellow, Master Yuan Pu leads the fellows to carry out home investigation in Nanzi district. 
Before the trip, she performed divination with E.G. to figure out the problem. She then investigated the problem on the spot according to Ba Gua instruction and Feng Shui principles. After investigation, they pointed out that the size of the door is not appropriate. The god's seat was in a mess. The floor color of the second floor was too dark. All these caused the instability of the family. Master also showed the house owner how to improve these problems so that they can keep their house aligned with the Feng Shui principles to gain peace. They headed to the Su family to do another investigation. The working desk in the house was arranged properly. Their business was also running well. But the stove on the second floor is opposite to a staircase contradictorily. The health of the house owner's wife become worse because of this. Feng Shui student also used the compass to measure the direction of the house according to the principles shared from Grandmaster. They instructed the house owner how to arrange and settle the house furniture in order to gain peace in living. After investigation, all fellows pressed the house owner to have a peaceful family. Weixing News, Kaohsiung. Take a break. We will come back soon. Chan Ji Shan, Weixing Shen Jiao. Continue with the social services of Taoyuan Branch Temple. The Branch Temple host, Master Yuan Peng, helped with the right of the appreciation for the land written in Wei Xin Shen Jiao's The Collection of Wanderers Dharma as the redecoration of the factory was completed. Let's watch the footage. Master Yuan Peng of Changjishan Wei Xin Shen Jiao Taoyuan Branch Temple helped the British value a fundamental class to have the right of the appreciation for the land. Praying Buddhas readily arrived at the factory and blessed the business getting flourish. British Fellow Youth Factory is located in Luzhu district of Taoyuan City. There are many places in the factory interiors designed that violate the Feng Shui rule. After the Master Yuan Peng's guidance, he was revised according to the Wanjus Dharma of Wang Chan Lao Tzu. Appreciating Buddhas plus the project completed successfully and praying for a safe home and prosperous business. Master Yuan Peng followed the rule of the book One Just Dharma Lineage that family you sincerely invite Buddhas radiantly arrive at the factory. And after reading our statement of appreciation for the land, everyone chanting Wang Chan Lao Tzu profound scripture and Guigu Immortal Master Heavenly Virtual Scripture. Master Yuan Peng purified the inside and outside of the factory and thanked Buddha's blessing after the rite. The ride completed successfully. Weixin News, Chaoyuan. Let's move on to the development of Taiwanese local arts and humanities. Just like the idea of Western Romantic pianist Chao Pin, Taiwanese composer Guo Zhiyuan also embodies the love for the land, the inspiration for the people, the expectation for the country, and the longing for the nation. On June 17th, Weixin Music Hall of Weixin TV invited the pianist Mr. Chen Chou-Yo, who graduated from the Russian Niesin Academy of Music, to share his current status of participating in the musical arts project of nationalism musician Guo Zhiyuan at Yuanli Township, Taiwan. The enchanting, wonderful music of ancient time and modern time of East and West was well presented through this exquisite and delicate performance. Weixin Music Hall program of Weixin TV station invites musicians from all fields to share diverse world of music and build good relationships with the public. The main goal is to bring peace to everyone in the body, mind, and spirit. On June 17th, pianist Chen Chou Yo, who completed two postgraduates, piano performance and chamber ensemble from the Russian Jeans Academy of Music, was invited to play the Taiwanese composer 
Guo Ziyuan's Fantasy on Taiwan Asian Melody, as well as the Romantic Piano Poets, Chopin's Patriotic Ballad, and the Mazurka with Deep Polish Nationality. Chen Chouyou, who has been trained in music for more than nine years in Russia, is the first non-Russian student to complete two postgraduates since the establishment of the Genese Music Academy in 64 years, having the intensive performance experience at home and abroad. One can see the different interpretation of performance style from German, Australian, America, Japanese in his performance. With the precision of skill and music lines, he demonstrates his unique personal style. In the interview with Chen Chouyou, the audience learned about the humanistic background and music art of the representative figures in Taiwan. Guo Ziyuan, you are welcome to watch the Weixin Music Hall program of Weixin TV station every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Weixin News, Taichung Branch Temple. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi reveals the profound wisdom of Yi Jin Feng Shui in simple language. He integrates the art of divination, unveils the mysteries of Yi Jin Feng Shui in the hearts of the public, and creates a wonderful life for you and me with authentic belief. Thank you for tuning in today. Please stay tuned at 11.30 p.m. on every Monday and 11.30 in the morning and 4 o'clock in the afternoon on every Tuesday for every week's Weishin News on Weishin TV. Wang Chan Lao to bless you and your family. World peace. See you next week.